Hey everybody, Master Drag y'all here. <laughs> Last episode, well, we just started the game, got done with a bunch of uh, mechanic instructions, and got to the main hub after getting our first uh, Grand Star. In this episode, we're going to be getting some Power Stars. Right, entering the terrace. As explained in last episode, you just uh, go to these galaxies that you can see from the inventory. The blue Luma turned into a grab star. You just take the Wii remote and you grab, push A to grab onto it, and now you got a bunch of galaxies that you can go to. Of course, you can only go to galaxies that are glowing at like a goldish color. You can't go to any of those black or dimish colored ones. Now, if you click A on uh, one that says new above it, it will turn into a galaxy and now we can go to Good A Galaxy. So. And now he's just telling me that yes, there are Power Star inside this galaxy. And that there might be some kind of a danger or something here. Alright. Dino Piranha. Of course, the game just shows you where you're going. And it's a little preview. You have to watch this every the first time you start any episode. Okay, starting off, there generally will always be like a coins or star bits inside each of the graphs and everything. Okay, now as I showed you about shooting toad and everything with star bits, yeah, I missed already. Okay. Okay, you can shoot them and they'll get dazed and you can go straight in for a kick. You of course can get a uh, two extra star bits from this, the third replacing the one you lost shooting the thing. But since you need them to uh get other power stars later in the game, I will not really be using this mechanic that often. Also what I forgot to mention last episode you can uh, hold the uh, the uh, crouching button in order and push A to do a backflip rather than the uh, running and doing a long jump. Okay, now speed running tactic. I missed. No! Come on. I always used to be able to do this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we're getting to another one. This is one of my favorite uh, game mechanics. Is uh, got this uh, gold coin here with a question mark on top of it. Well, it's going to make musical notes appear, right here, and let's just listen. That was the underground NG BGM from uh, Super Mario Bros. The original. 
Except for a little bit of a uh, remix of it. And I went through the wrong pipe. Need to go this way. Also, there are little uh, light bulbs, I guess these look like. And if you shoot one with a star bit, and I'm just going to be missing if I use star bits. The reason why I'm not going to be using these things that often. A coin appears. Um, this game occasionally will have like boss battles and such. So. If you run low on health fighting a boss, you should try to grab those. There are other ways that bosses are going to drop, like, uh, items, or stars, no, coins for you. They'll also have ways of dropping star bits, but, yeah. Okay, never mind, I guess that wasn't the speedrunning tactic. I'm forgetting things. But anyway, you got some uh, star bits down here if you want to grab those. I did not mean to do down that pipe. Yes, you're on a planet. If you go off the side of the planet that's rounded, um, not to be confused with like a ledge or something, but if it's uh, rounded like this, and you know there's something on the other side of the planet, you can just walk off the ledge and uh, the gravitational pull of the planet will just uh, keep you walking in a straight line. Coming on enemies, of course, gives you a coin, like it always did. Where you're supposed to go. It's up here where you probably saw the lunch star. Now that's feeling okay. Because that uh what you're supposed to do was talk to that Luma, and the Luma would have turned into a a tiny sling star. I can or one of these. There we go. Gives you a bunch of star bits. And I'm done now before I die. Music one. Oh yeah, I already see this going so well. Oh, wow. Almost died. Grab that. Oh, whoa. Okay. One more. Yes. One star has appeared. Grab some coins so I'm not listening to that beeping. Enemy here. Yep. Okay, yes, you're supposed to go up that vine, but if you didn't see earlier, there is a uh, point up here. Or, well, down here. Also, those little enemies little blue enemies that I destroyed. Um, yeah, you want to destroy those as fast as possible if they clamp onto you. They will uh, take away your uh, star bits if you let them dwindle on there too long. 
So they're not just slowing down your movement, they're actually stealing your star bits away. Okay. Okay, you know what? Ha! Ah. The red spot, of course, is their weakness, but if you find a chance where you have one of these next to them, um, you can easily just get star bits this way. Of course, these things are unlimited in this area right now, so they'll only give you a set amount of uh, star bits before they stop giving you some. And a giant piranha there, as you just saw, just wait for it to smack its face down to attack you and hit it with a, uh, I'm not even sure what those things are called. But, uh, there's a little bandit down there. He has a lot of, uh, star bits inside of him. So, if you can somehow catch up to him and, uh, hit him, you... I think he has somewhere from 15 to 20 star bits. Occasionally in a launch star scenes like that, uh, star bits will appear. And you'll be able to grab all of those. And now we got a boss fight. Does this boss look easy? I'm sure it does. See, all it is is me. Okay. Well. I was expecting something else. All you do is get behind him, get to his tail again, smack it into his face, 